With MeisterPlan, you can make a high-level plan for what your company will work on and make sure that there are enough resources to make that plan work. For this example, we'll show you how a tech company could use MeisterPlan. All major things a company wants to do, like implementing software for a certain customer or releasing software updates, are shown here in the upper part of the screen as individual projects. On the left, you can see how the projects are ranked. The project with the highest priority is at the top. On the right, you can see when each project is scheduled. This vertical red line here marks today. As you can see, this company is currently working on three projects, while many more are scheduled to start in the next few months. You can expand every project by clicking the arrow next to the project name to see who is assigned to work on it. In MeisterPlan, you can assign either individual employees like Sophie, George, and Danielle here. Or you can assign a role, like the junior consultant and senior developer here. This simply means that you want to have someone with this role working on this project, without worrying right now about who exactly it should be. Here in the lower part of the screen, you see two things, the capacity of the company's employees and the amount of work that needs to be done. Where the chart is green, there is more capacity than work. Where it is red, there is more work than capacity. In the current view, the charts summarize this information by role to give you a quick overview. Of course, you can also see the work and capacity for individual employees assigned to a specific role by clicking the arrow next to that role. The upper and lower parts of the screen are connected. If you click on a project, the lower part of the screen will display only the capacity and the work for the people or roles assigned to that project. You can remove this filter by clicking the X here, which will display the information for all active projects again. And if you click on an individual employee or role, the upper part of the screen will display only the projects that person or role is assigned to. Next, I want to show you two important concepts in MeisterPlan. You may have noticed that the list of projects is divided by two horizontal lines. The green one here is the must-have line. As the name suggests, you can put your must-have projects above this line. The red line here is the cutoff line. All projects below it are not part of the current plan. If projects below this line have people or roles assigned to them, the amount of work needed for these projects will not count towards filling the capacity in the chart in the lower part of the screen. So if you move the cutoff line up or down, you change the overall amount of work. Now in this example, the company has a few problems with their plan. There are obviously a couple of projects where there is more work to do than the people assigned to the projects can handle, given their capacity. MeisterPlan highlights these conflicts by displaying thin red lines above the relevant projects, which corresponds to the red sections in the charts in the lower part of the screen. With MeisterPlan, it is very easy to find solutions to these problems. I'll show you several ways to do that. First, you can simply reschedule the project. Just drag the project until the thin red line is gone. The amount of work to be done and the available capacity are now balanced. Another way to create a better plan is to make sure that your teams work on the highest priority projects first. Let's say this tech company decides that the mobile sales project is more important than all other projects. You can give it a priority by dragging it up the project list until the red line on that project is gone. But now there are red lines on other projects and overall there's still too much work. Let me explain a bit more about how this works and what happens when you rank a project higher. Let's look at the display of overall work and capacity for our junior consultants, who seem to be over-allocated. You'll notice that each project's work is displayed as a separate layer. If you click the first project in the project list, you'll see that the work from this project is displayed as the bottom layer. 
If you click the next project, you'll see that its work is displayed as the next layer up. The layers are sorted in reverse order of project rank. So whenever there is more work than capacity, lower priority work will be displayed in red. That makes sense because you would rather capacity go to the most important projects and postpone the least important projects to solve the problem, right? So when you move the mobile cells project up in rank, what you really did was shift the capacity problems to lower ranked projects. That solved the problem for this one project, and we can still figure out what to do about the others. For this video, we'll keep it short, but there are more ways to balance work and capacity with MeisterPlan, such as shifting work to other roles and resources, or simulating adding employees. Watch our in-depth tutorials to learn more. Now, let's imagine that Mike, the CIO of this company, has a great idea for a new project. They want to build a JIRA integration. Now you have to figure out where this would fit into the plan. You add a project by clicking on Add Here and selecting Project. Let's give the new project a name, and then click on Add. As you can see, the project is now part of the project list. In our example, Mike would like Danielle to manage the project. So you click the plus icon next to the project name, and in the new window, you just type in the person's name and select them from the results. Mike also needs a junior developer to build the integration. So you search for the role name and select it. Now let's specify how much work is planned for this project. Mike estimates 10 days of work for project management. So let's type that in here. For development, Mike estimates 30 days. So you type that in here. Again, the thin red line on the project, as well as the red charts in the lower part of the screen, show you that the project won't fit during the chosen time frame. So you drag it to a time where there is enough capacity. You can do financial planning here at the bottom of the portfolio designer. Here in the header at the top of the screen, you can group your projects into sub-portfolios for different managers or business units, or you can simulate what-if scenarios. And here, in the toolbar of each view, you can perform view-specific actions. In the portfolio designer, for example, you can sort projects by project score for easy prioritization based on strategic contribution. This should give you a basic understanding of how to make plans using what we call the Portfolio Designer.